and knitting videos here on my channel and welcome back to a new video I'm gonna do something super fun today I'm gonna start a new crochet project I've been knitting mostly in the past couple of weeks but I feel like doing a crochet project today and I'm gonna do something that has been on my list for the longest time ever which is to knit a scarf there's this one scarf this one that I've been wearing for the past couple of years pretty much every single day in winter and although I love this scarf a lot I think it's time for me to make one of my own so what I have is I have a lot of different I don't think you could actually call this like scrap yarn because some of them are full skins and some of them I have multiple but it's all this yarn that I don't know what to do with yet it's in this crate which is super cute by the way but all of this is like pretty chunky-ish yarn it's not very thin at least so I have all these gorgeous colors blues, green, purple, pink, orange even and I have of course my trusty crochet hook I'm thinking of doing a kind of like patchwork-ish scarf I've seen it a lot on Instagram and Pinterest and it looks so nice I'm gonna make something inspired on it but I still want to take my own take on it first I really need to see how long I want it to be I am gonna use this one scarf that I use all the time kind of as my model but I do think that this one is a little bit too big to make into a crochet version I want my scarf always to be pretty wide and pretty long because it's cold here in the Netherlands Okay, let's go! Let's see, I think I'll use a 5mm hook for it If I can find that one Here, 5mm I'm gonna do half double crochets because that's my preferred length not length stitch so let's start with the first one and maybe just start a bit easy and do a like striped one and use white and purple i rolled up this yarn but in a quite a bad way i feel it coming that this project is gonna be super <laughs> messy and chaotic but i'm all here for that type of energy let me know what projects you are working on right now if you are already more going into like spring themed project or if you are still very much in the winter theme right now I'm still quite in a sweaters and cardigans type of <laughs> phase but also here in the Netherlands it doesn't get that warm that quickly so it would be alright for me to still make sweaters right now because I would still get a lot of wear out of them but I can totally imagine if you live in a warmer climate then that maybe maybe you never get to make sweaters that must be so sad now let's just get to crocheting <laughs> I'm now a bit over halfway with the first square It is taking me a bit longer than expected so hopefully... Oh, just a piece of paper The wind outside is super strong and it's been raining all day And I need to go outside for to post a package, uh, an Etsy package So... I'm not looking forward to that, but I have no choice. The square, as I was saying, taking a little bit longer, but I'm already liking this square a lot. And it's the most simple one ever. I just like this yarn a lot. I, I've worked with it a ton of times. And uh, as far as I know, it's only available in the Netherlands and a few other European countries. It's yarn from Zeeman. It's the Julia yarn. So if you have a Zeeman in your country, try out this yarn. It's super nice and it's not expensive at all. But I'm trying to weave in the ends as I am going. Just because for a scarf I want it to be at least somewhat reversible and not have one side with a lot of loose ends and stuff. It's finished! The first square is done. 
And if you're wondering why I'm no longer wearing that headband shawl thing, it's because I lost it. It's it's really stupid, but the wind, as I said before, the weather was terrible today and the wind was so strong and I was wearing that headband and it must have flown off my head at some point and now I don't have it anymore. But yeah, I finished uh, the first square. I'm now gonna count how many rows I did. 22 rows. So now I can make also some designs. So this is the design that I have made now for my next square. It's two tulips. It's kind of loosely based on the tulip sweater vest that I've made before from Nastia Crochets. I hope that it will end up looking nice because it's always a bit difficult, especially since I am doing half double crochets. But yeah, we will see. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, let's see. I finished four squares already and they're so nice. This was the first one, the square one. I've made a tulip one as well, that's super cute. Then I have made a checkered one. And I last night finished one with a cute apple on top of it. And I've calculated and in total I need to make 18 squares. So in my phone I have a whole list of designs that I want to do. Let me see where is my phone. Okay, the list is i won't i'm not sure if i will make actually all of these eventually but i have one oh i need to translate because i did it in dutch mushroom sheep the hound's tooth i think it's called pattern clover of four good luck clover and is that a translation <laughs> my, my english is so bad sorry i want a landscape little suns a lemon an orange a kind of like pastel ish I don't know how to explain this, but kind of like a landscape, but pastel. I want a ladybug, rainbows, a strawberry, and cows. <laughs> this is the most random list ever, but this is just my plans. And I'm not sure if I will actually end up making all of these, but that's my brainstorming guy kind of thing. Right now, I have started the fifth square. Because I've calculated if I do like two or three squares a day, then it won't take me super long to make this project. But I've started one with clouds on it. It's been super fun so far, this uh, scarf. I like the squares a lot, how they are turning out. Oh, I wish I could just work on this project all day, but I have deadlines to finish as well. Uh, which row am I on? One, two, three, four, fifth row. We don't talk about Bruno. in this because it has nothing to do with the crochet video. I'm just so stressed because of school, some last deadline that I have, <sighs> and just loads of things that I gotta do and I feel like it's really taking a toll on my mental health and I, <laughs> I hate that because I felt like things were just getting better. So I just had a panic attack half an hour ago because of yeah like a group project these are not the kind of things that should take such a toll on your mental health but somehow it does to me sometimes and that's why right now i have just decided to ignore <laughs> everyone <laughs> and take a little bit of a crochet break to just take some time to get some distraction i'm gonna make lunch in a minute eat a good meal like really i should prioritize my mental health just i'm in the meantime i'm still looking at the chart for crocheting <laughs> oh is this right uh, no i made a mistake or did, no 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 this is right when you think that my life is great and that i am always happy and stuff uh it ain't true <laughs> I think everyone on social media, they have their low points. Everyone on YouTube has. Not everyone chooses to share them, which is completely valid. Keep making mistakes. I shouldn't talk so much while crocheting. Yeah, let's continue crocheting. And uh, I will be better, I'm sure. <laughs> oh. 
All right, in the meantime, I finished... Wait, where are they? This is the one that I'm working on right now, this square, with kind of like swirly stuff. Um, da, 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 let's put the hook here. I always lose my crochet hook. I've also finished the cloud square. This one with very cute kind of flower-ish things on it. And now I am going to show you how I design those squares in Stitch Fiddle. Okay, I have my laptop here on which I do all the design work. Okay, so here I have my chart. It's 26 stitches wide and 22 rows. And I want to make a mushroom for this design. I think for the background, I am going to go for a green color. So what I'm first going to do is make the whole background green. And then now comes like the fun creative part. I always just experiment with it. So I see that I think right now this is, you need one less than it's even. Ah. Yeah, it was right all along. Okay, let's just see. Uh, I first make a square for the stem of the mushroom. I never know the difference between the mushroom and the toad stool. So let me know. Is a mushroom just the, the thing that you eat? Drawing a little bit and then correcting it all later on because it's very uneven. I try to make sure that, for example, there are here three rows at the top and that there are three at the bottom. I'm trying to kind of center it in that way. Or at least then I would I think I prefer this. I think the design is actually pretty even already. Not bad. Oh, this is not visible by... <laughs> okay, um... That's just how I make my designs. I improvise a lot. I just draw something and then correct it. Then I start crocheting it and it happens super often that I have to unravel it because I don't like the way it's turning out. Yeah, that's just part of the process really. It's another day and maybe you hear my oven ticking on the background, but I have recalculated my design, but I don't know what I was thinking needing 18 squares for the scarf because I think I compared it to my scarf that I usually wear, which is this thin wool-ish scarf that just, it bunches up. And of course, when you crochet, it's a lot more stiff, so you don't need that many squares. So I'm going to use just nine squares for my scarf, for myself, but I have decided to still make in total 18 squares and make a second scarf that I am gonna give away. So. If you want to win the other scarf, stay till the end of the video and I will explain what you have to do in order to win it. And that's also a great way for me to get rid of some scrap yarn as well. So I guess it's a win-win situation for all of us. So now I am working on this square. Let's see. I don't want to undo it. Undo it? Like rip it? This one, it's the mushroom square that I showed how to make. It ended up being uh, yellow instead of green because I preferred that. So I'm gonna continue working on that and do nothing else today because the weather is so bad that I don't want to go outside anymore. It has a really hot temper. Oh, f it. That's so stupid. Sometimes that would be a distraction. You're very fitted, babe. I did tell you. Leave it, leave it. I'll just stop. 
Okay, you're kind of in my plant. Here is it. <laughs> but I have finished many, many squares. I don't need to do that many others, actually, I think. But this is one that I finished last night. Super cute. Oh, this is adorable. Look how cute. It's like a little cow and a sheep. I think many of these have already shown. The mushroom, swirlies, clouds. Uh, this one I finished recently as well. It's with these strokes of pastel-ish colors. Flower one, the tulips, the apple, stripes, um, checkers. This one I finished two days ago as well. Strawberry, super cute. And this, I'm not sure. I think um, my intention was apples, but they kind of look a bit more like pears. So whatever you want them to be, basically. <laughs> and right now, I'm working also on one square. This one, they're gonna be little ladybugs. Super cute. And now I need to pack some of my yarn and stuff because I'm gonna go to my mother's house where I will finish the last. Do I want 18 squares? And I have one in. I'm working on the 13th one right now. And I wanna make 18 in total, so that means that I still have to do five more and I think I'm I will be able to do them today and tomorrow and then I will sew them together once I get back here to Amsterdam so I need to think of what designs I want to make for those last five squares and then what yarn to take because I cannot of course take all of my yarn stash to go to my mom's place so <laughs> I need to brainstorm a little bit Okay, look at all them squares. Oh, they're doing construction work. All them squares being together, they look so good. But I find it so difficult to choose now which other ones I need to make. I finished a ladybug one, by the way. Okay. So I have decided on my last five squares. I want to do one more checkered one. I think blue and pink. I want to make one with lavender. I want a sun. And I want a yellow with pink houndstooth pattern. And the last one I think will be just stripes to get rid of some scrap yarn. <laughs> so that's the plan for now. I gathered all the yarn. It's still quite a lot for just a two-day trip to my mom's place, but yeah, this is what I'm taking. I am crocheting my very last square. This is one with like stripes with just a lot of scrap yarn that I'm using. I finished the other four already yesterday evening and today little uh, sun this is a houndstooth pattern um, some cute lavender and a checkered one and this is the very last one i'm making and then tomorrow when i get back to my own place in amsterdam i'm gonna sew them together and i'm super excited for that i finished this scarf it's scarf number one, <laughs> the scarf that I'm keeping for myself. And I sewed together or I crocheted together the pieces last night. And I really like the result. I think it's so cute. It looks so nice. I love the squares together. The combo, the color combo is so cute. I am thinking of maybe adding some like fringe or tassels at the bottom. But it's already quite long. So I think maybe I will just keep it this way. And I already wore the scarf today and I really like it. It's so warm, it's so colorful and fun. So yeah, I'm super in love with the end result. And now I just need to crochet together the pieces for scarf number two. already dark outside so the lighting is super bad but I'm sewing together the squares for scarf number two I can show you I'm mm, I have three more squares to go to sew so it's oh. 
very short right now. But already super cute. So nice. And I just posted a picture on Instagram of scarf number one and asked if anyone wants to test the pattern and I got so many responses already. So that's super amazing. So I'm gonna bring out this pattern eventually. Um, it takes a little bit of time because I still need to get testers to test all the squares, but eventually it will be sold on my Etsy shop. So follow my Instagram if you wanna stay updated. Mm -mm -mm. Scarf number two is finished as well now. I finished it last night. And I also really like this one. It's super cute. The color palette of the other scarf suits me a little bit better, but I think this one is also so nice with all the different designs on it. Like, yeah, it's super amazing. So this is the one I'm gonna give away. And I'm also going to end the video here. If you wanna win this scarf, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Instagram. And if you go to my Instagram, it's Lisa's Knit Club, you can find a post about this scarf, what you need to do exactly to win this scarf. And I will see you again next week with another video. So stay safe and doei!